Hey everybody, this is Jarrett, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Sumo Me suite of apps. So let's get started. Right now I'm logged into the back end of my WordPress website. So uh, first of all, I'll go to Plugins, Add New, Search Plugins, Sumo Me. Here's the Sumo Me plugin. I'll install that now. Activate Plugin. Now I'm ready to install the remaining apps. If you notice right up here in the right hand side, here's the Sumo Me app icon. If for whatever reason that's not showing, you can click anywhere on the page, type in Sumo Me, all one word, and then click the up arrow, and that opens the app homepage. I'll go to the Sumo Store. The first app I'm going to install is the List Builder app. Click Free. It's now installed. I'll open that up. And right here you can see how I can configure this app. This is the dashboard so I can see how many emails I've collected. I can create a different design for the pop-up. Leave it on the default. I have to have the pro version of AppSumo to get these other pop-ups. So I'll leave it on the default. I can change the size. I can change the heading. Get our stuff now. Can change the text. Can change the fonts to whatever I want. Do that cabin sketch. Sign up. I the email placeholder. I'll leave that at johnnybegood.com, and then a success heading success text after they sign up and then the success button continue save that I can add different fields if I want to collect a first name here email, uh, first name or their whole name first name last name company whatever I can do that I can delete any fields I don't want behavior The default is smart, so when somebody is about to exit the site, that's when the pop-up will pop up. I can also set that manually to occur, say, after 30 seconds if I want. I'll leave that on smart. And then I can set the frequency if I want it up to years, from minutes to years. I can set that. After they subscribed, I can have them redirect to another URL in case I want them to download something right away or even read another blog post. I'm going to save that. Display rules. Again, by default, List Builder shows on all the pages, but here I can add a show rule so it will only show on certain pages or not show on certain pages. I can do A B testing services where I hook up my different email service provider. Advanced, I can actually make a custom pop up form right with HTML, and then I can do more advanced pixel tracking. So I save all this, X out here, go back to the Sumo store. I'm going to install the welcome mat next. Click on free. It's now installed. I can open that, configure that. Same thing as list builder. I can look at how many emails I've collected, change the design, that's the default, uh, add different fields, behavior. This means it will always show when anybody lands anywhere on my website, or it will show after so many minutes, up to years, and then I can toggle if they've already subscribed, they don't need to see the mat anymore. And then a redirect URL. I And again, I can add show rules or don't show rules, depending on if I want it to show on certain pages or not show on certain pages. A-B testing, email service provider, advanced again I can edit the template have my own complete custom layout and then tracking pixels I'm gonna save all that click X here and then go back to the sumo store going to install heat maps install that open that right now I have an active campaign going on I can stop that here's how you start a new campaign and then I can view my campaigns in here settings here if I have a page that I have to get through through a query I have I can add that here and of course you can set this to track all clicks or if I'm logged in sumo me to not track those clicks and then auto record if I upgrade to heat maps pro then 
it automatically records. If I install it, I don't have to set this. It automatically restores. So I'm going to save that. X out here. Go back to the Sumo store. And then the last app I'm going to install is the Share app. Install that. Open. Same general idea here. This is a summary. This is the last seven days for me. Um, 17 all time clicks. Settings. Here's where you can. Add all your services. As you can see, there's there's plenty of services to add. All you have to do is drag over here. Print, if you want somebody able to print that. And then you can decide how many services you want to show at a time. And again, how to sort the share buttons. It will automatically, if it's set on smart, which is default, it will optimize for the most shares. So if everybody's sharing on Facebook, that's the one that's going to show first. I can change what I want it to say, the label. So shares. And then I can do different sizes for the button, whether the button is square, their circles, rounded. And then I can toggle the share counts. If I don't want to show the share counts, say I just got a brand new website like this one is, so there's not very many, so I'm not going to show that. And then I can optimize for mobile devices and then I can put padding around the pixels between the buttons to spread them out a little bit background color and then the background color of the buttons so if I want to keep it transparent I can do that I'm gonna save that okay and one more thing if you want to uninstall an app all you have to do is hover over that for a second and a half click the X button and you can uninstall everything. And there you have it. How to install the Sumo Me app framework. How to install the Sumo Me suite of apps. A few examples. And then how to uninstall. Thank you.